Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to walk you through the process of building an application using the App Builder. First, head over to the DXP portal and open the App Builder. Click on Create New Project, select your account, and give your application a name. Once that's done, you'll move on to the next step, where you can choose a template for your screen. For now, let's choose the New Blank Screen option. On the right hand side, you'll find the Building Blocks panel. Here, you can search for different building blocks and preview them just by hovering over. Drag and drop the ones you want to utilize onto the screen. To adjust any component's properties, simply click on it. A pop-up will appear where you can adjust the settings and your changes will apply instantly. Now, let's add a new screen from data. In the Test Data dialog, you can preview your dataset and its properties. Pick your dataset and click the Next Step arrow. In the Binding dialog, select the data fields you want to display in the table. The wizard will automatically bind those fields once you press Create. The App Builder offers a variety of building blocks to speed up your development. These building blocks are organized by use case, whether it's for HR, plant maintenance, procurement, or more. Just drag and drop them into your screen to get started quickly. There's also an advanced mode. Turning this on unlocks extra features like basic components for drag and drop functionality. The component tree, which shows an overview and hierarchy of all your components. Markers and helpers to assist by highlighting components on the screen. The user menu, where you can export your application to SAP Edition or Open Edition, among other options. Another great feature is the ability to share your application. You can do this via a direct link or through a QR code, making it easy to distribute your app or prototype to users. At the top bar, you'll find the Achievements Tracker. This feature lets you see what features you've already used and what's still left to explore. Each time you try something new, your progress percentage increases. The final step of the development is to enable navigation within the application. This can be done by selecting a clickable component and assigning an action to it. Finally, switch to Run Mode to get a live preview of how your application looks and functions. Thank you for watching. Happy app building.